Hello everyone and welcome back to Prestige Reef. If you're looking for a fish which will randomly die for no apparent reason, then the copper band butterfly fish might be the one for you. These fish are easy to recognise as they have a long snout and extremely narrow silver body, decorated with the copper bands which give them their name. This elongated snout is used to squeeze into crevices to get food which is potentially out of reach of other fish. They also have an eye spot at the top of their dorsal fin. It is often believed that this eye spot is used to confuse predators. The evidence to back this up is that in the wild it isn't uncommon to see one where the whole eye spot has been bent off and healed over. There are two possible reasons for this. The eye spot really did trick the predator, which attacked a less vulnerable part of its body. Or I've noticed that when this fish feels threatened, it turns its dorsal spines towards the attacker as a form of defence. This means that the closest part for the attacker to bite is this eye spot. Often labelled as an expert only fish, the key to success is finding a healthy specimen which doesn't look emaciated and is feeding. Seeing it feeding in the shop is a must before you take it home. Now when I say feeding, I don't mean being shy and staring at the food for a couple of minutes and then eventually picking out one piece of mysis. I mean attacking the food in the same way a yellow tang would. If it only takes one piece of food, you may as well leave it at the shop, as it won't be able to compete in an aquarium with other tank inhabitants. Another thing to look out for is that any specimen which has damage around the mouth should be completely avoided, as this is almost certainly a death sentence. If you've already made the mistake of purchasing one of these which isn't feeding, a good way to encourage one to feed is with live food or half a clam on the shell. Once established on these types of food, you should try to encourage to get them onto mysis. They have very small mouths and anything larger is likely to be ignored. Although they have the negative label of not being completely reef safe, I've never known of any which have decimated a tank full of coral. I think this reputation has come from their love of feather dusters, which they consume with great gusto and are part of their natural diet. You'll notice I mentioned in my previous video that they are sometimes used as a natural control to the dreaded Aptasia, however this service is not guaranteed and can vary greatly between individuals. I've seen a shop trick a copper band into eating Aptasia by feeding the Aptasia something the copper band is willing to eat. When the copper band takes the food from it, it also takes half the Aptasia, and eventually it got a taste for them. Of all the fish I've had in my tank over the years, these fish always appear hungry and are ferocious predators of the microfauna hiding in and around the rockwork. For this reason they do better in a larger aquarium with more live rock which they can graze on naturally. Most of the information I found points to these being very delicate fish when it comes to tank mates, however mine coexisted peacefully with multiple tangs and even held its own at feeding time, displaying its dorsal fins to my boisterous soho tang if it got too frisky. Once again, I think this delicate reputation has come from their survival rate rather than their ability to hold their own in an aquarium. In conclusion, these fish aren't as impossible as they first appear, however it really does come down to the individual specimens. So in answer to the question, do you really want a copper band butterfly fish, hmm, these certainly aren't an easy fish to keep alive, and I certainly don't want to encourage people to go out and buy one, but if you have the correct level of experience, set up, and find the right individual, they can be a very interesting addition to an aquarium, as their behaviour is very different to the majority of other fish we keep. I hope you enjoy watching my video, please feel free to comment below if you have any questions, if you did enjoy it, why not click that like button and subscribe to the channel. Have a good week and I'll see you next time. As always, I just want to say a massive thank you to the people that support the channel on Patreon. Never underestimate the value of what you do with regards to keeping this channel going. You've all been brilliant. Thank you.